like you said, everybody works as if they're going to start. So we have faith in everyone on our team. Jalen, you haven't played much in the last couple of games. What was it like out there tonight having a big one? Yeah, it was, it was a good feeling. Uh, you know, just like everybody's saying at the table, like we prepare every week to, you know, we're coming on uh, practice to be a starter. So, uh, no, nah, it was good and it was fun being out there with the guys. And it's great to come in here and get W. Karene, and with, with, with the defense, you began to talk about maybe simplifying it, different things that way. What made, made it so successful today as opposed to maybe weeks in the past? I think he said it, man. Coach Scali really was trying to simplify things, and uh, the game plan was, was perfect this week. Um, we did a lot of film study and were able to match our calls with what we were seeing. Any other questions for the guys? Yeah, Bryson, how, how, how much of the first team reps were you taking during practice against maybe, you know, like a regular week when Cam was not kind of banged up? Yeah, I mean, you just got to kind of take the reps. I mean, there, there's all sorts of different things that kind of go into rep counts and things like that. So you just got to take advantage of everything you ever get every week so to be able for, to step up to the plate when that time comes. So you just got to take advantage of every rep. Jalen, Washington State was a little bit better against the run this season. Obviously, you guys knew that it was going to be a difficult role. What, what did you guys feel like you needed to do in this game to really set your, your tone? Yeah, coming to the week of preparation, uh, you know, Coach Q was just stressing like this. You got you to gotta run through it. Um, with Cam here, uh, with Bryson, uh, we just wanted to be really aggressive this week um, in the run game. So um, that, that was our preparation. That's how we practiced this week, and I think we did a pretty good job today. Karina, what does it mean to say about this team to face kind of the adversity you've had with guys out and things that come on the road and win a game like this? Uh, it just shows that we have a next man up mentality. Um, you know, we're going to face more adversity. There's going to be more injuries down the road. Uh, and it, it says a lot about the character of this team that we're here. We're in it for the team. Um, so, yeah, shows a lot about our kids. For any of you guys, how, how would you describe that game as a whole? I mean, summarize it for us. Team win. Amen. Two words for you. Amen. Man, that's it. <laughs> team win. You win as a team. That's it. But, Mo, do you feel like this this performance from you guys on the defense, game, on the defense side can kind of catapult you forward the rest of the way? Yeah, definitely. I feel like we have great coaches, uh, great leadership, so we should be able to build on this performance to keep going. You know, it's simply about doing the, doing little things. Like Coach said, only your 20 square feet, doing everything that you can do to make sure that you're the best for this program. And everyone's uh, buying into that, so I feel like we're just going to keep growing, getting closer, getting more comfortable with each other, and uh, just keep growing to being a better defense. Right, so if, if Cam can't go next week, what do you feel like you've learned this week that can maybe help you for next week? I mean... You always talk about being prepared for when that time comes, and this time the time came. And so I definitely say, I mean, you, you got to prepare every week as normal, because this time was a little different, because this time I actually had to step on the field and actually start. So, I mean, definitely learning the, the mindset of things. You know, things, you can always be prepared for the moment, but until that moment comes, you're not going to know what it's like. And so being able to get that experience, you know, it's, it's definitely going <laughs> to propel me forward. Yeah. Okay, a gutsy performance by our guys. Um, Found a way to win, which is obviously the bottom line. Um, proud of Bryson Barnes. Bryson Barnes came in a pretty tough situation and uh, performed, performed well. You know, he did a good job running the offense. Um, <coughs> we weren't as prolific offensively, obviously, as we've been in uh, some games this year. Uh, they did have one turnover, but uh, other than that, did a pretty good job uh, moving chains. We didn't make a ton of first downs, 19 or 20 first downs. But really the key is the defense. The defense played well. Uh, they were 260 some odd yards total low, uh, 42 rushing, and we a team one dimensional. And uh, we got a chance to uh, really take control of the game. Uh, the quarterback, he was a good quarterback. He didn't miss many throws. I mean, his completion percentage had to be up in 18%. I mean, he was, he was on the money uh, with most of those throws. Uh, the pass rush did a nice job, although we let him out probably too many times in the cage, but we did get four, four or five sacks and uh, kept pressuring him, uh, knocking him off his spot for most of the night. Um, special teams, not much of an impact again. You know, there wasn't a whole lot uh, you know, as far as momentum, in fact, no momentum changing plays in the special teams. But uh, overall, you know, like I said, proud of our guys. We you know, had guys step up and, and, uh, and perform when they needed to. And, and you know, fortunately, we have a couple extra days off again this week. 
uh, with the game on Thursday and not again until next Saturday. I'll guess time to, to hopefully heal up and, and get some of these guys back. So we'll see what happens. Questions? Uh, Cam obviously went through the warm-ups today. What, what went into the decision to, to hold him out? Just didn't feel like he was right. So he just, uh, it was uh, Cam's decision. So did he practice? Respect that. Oh, just did he practice there in the week? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. That's why I say Bryson got put in a tough spot because he was not expecting to be the starter up until half hour before the game. Wait, with, with somebody like Rising, obvious or uh, Bryson, obviously he's been taking the second team reps. But how how difficult is it for him knowing that you were expecting Cam probably to at least go through this game? Yeah, very difficult. Like you said, that's, that's why it was, uh, he was he performed admirably under those conditions and under those circumstances. And, and uh, you know that's that's the nature of the number two quarterback. You're only one snap away, you know, the entire game in, in, in football game. So. That's the, uh, the mindset that you got to have. You got to be ready at the, you know, whatever your number's called, and, and uh, go out and perform and get the job done. Just given that Cam's a tough kid and he's been through these things before, were you surprised at his decision not to play? Uh, no, Cam. If Cam says he can't play, he can't play, and so there's no, no questioning him whatsoever, no doubting him whatsoever. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's the, the last guy that wants to miss a game. Yeah. Are you, are you able to say at all what, how Dalton is, or if he's able? Well, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, it's real early, and uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, obviously, made the game. We didn't know the turn. We had four or five guys make the game, and uh, a few returned, but a lot didn't. But a couple guys uh, less experienced at running back. How do you assess how they played? Yeah, I thought uh, Jalen Glover gave us some good runs. Uh, Quentin Jackson gave us some good runs as well, although there was an exchange problem there. Got to watch the film and see exactly why. Maybe brought the backer off the edge and it changed his track a little bit and crowded the quarterback and it was not a clean exchange. Um, Kai Bernard did what he can do. He's he's really banged up. Uh, Tavion, you know, hopefully we can get him back soon. We'll see. And uh, yeah, we got kind of walking wounded on offense right now, but no, nobody cares. I mean, he's got like I said, next man up and. That's why you recruit and build depth in your 85-man roster, so you can weather the storm when stuff like this happens. Kyle, was uh, was Cam the emergency number three? Like, could he have gone if there was an emergency? It could have gone, but uh, you know, I don't think we would have gone that route. I, you know, we got uh, Nate Johnson at number yeah. two, and Jaquinta Jackson can fill in and still has enough retention from when he played quarterback to. to you know, we kept things simple. Do you still feel comfortable putting Jaquindon in there? If you Not comfortable, but it would have been uh, more of an option than putting Cam in right now. What should you say? Uh, this season has obviously been good with the run defense. You guys were effective tonight. How do you feel like you overall graded out in that area? In run D? Or just, no, sorry, run on offense, run offense. Oh, running the football yeah. offense. Uh, about a B. You know, what do we have, about 180, 170, something like that? We, you know, 200 is our benchmark. If we get 200 plus, then we're going to quicker. And that's, uh, that's what we ideally like to do. And, but uh, we've fallen short of that for a few weeks now. But, but uh, just keep on working at it. If you, if you could summarize that game in like just a few short words, what, how, what would you say about that game? Gutsy. Um, showed a lot of toughness. Resiliency. Uh, and that's a good football team. They're, you know, they're, they're good. They're four and three. And, and, uh, you know, beat, the, beat Wisconsin you know, way back when, I understand that, but still they had a, you know, a good victory at Wisconsin and, and uh, they lost to some really good Pac-12 teams. And, and uh, so by no means was, was uh, that opponent, you know, inferior in my opinion. Jalen Glover hadn't played at all much really the last two games. Just what does it say about him that he can come in here and, and, and carry the load, so to speak. Yep, says uh, he was ready when his number was called. He uh, had a great week of practice. And uh, yeah, he was the, he was not the forward player of the year for no reason. He's really good. And so we got faith in him and, and believe that he's got a bright future. Any other questions? Okay. Thanks, Bob.